for a normal distribution, the standard deviation is 10 and 80% of the values are greater than 25. Then find the mean of the distribution. 80% of the values are greater than 25. That means probability of value greater than 25 is 80%. Favorable number of cases are 80% of total number of cases. We require to find, <coughs> find out the mean. Now first of all, a simple thumb rule. The percentage or probability given is greater than 0.5. If the readily available probability from the data is greater than 0.5 and the sign with x is greater than, yes, this sign is greater than and the probability is greater than 0.5, that means the value of x falls on the left hand side area. Then only it is possible. So in this case, x equals to 25 must be here because 80% values are greater than 25. Now we know that greater than means on right hand side. This total area is 0.5. So some area out of the left hand side should also be there equivalent to 0.3. Then only 0.3 plus 0 0.5, 0 0.8 that means 80% area can be for the values greater than 25. So we can conclude that if the sign is of greater than and probability is greater than 0.5 then the value of x must be on left hand side area. The reverse rule will be if the sign is less than and probability is greater than 0.5 then x must be on right hand side area and so on. Now you can say find other two rules in your own way. This is our area of interest. Total area is we know 80% or 0 0.8 that can be divided into two parts 0 0.5 where x takes value greater than mean and 0 0.3 where x takes value between 25 and mean. Yes. Now what is Z here? So Z is 0 0.845. 0 0.845. We can find it from table. 0 0.845. But technically Z takes negative value because it falls on the left hand side area. And we know that on the left hand side area all Z scores are negative. Yes, Z scores are negative. So Z score for us is minus 0.845. Now we know the formula of Z score. Z equals to X minus mean divided by standard deviation. We know that Z is minus 0.845. X is 25 mean is missing and standard deviation is given to be 10. Therefore, 10 into minus 0.845 that will be minus 8.45 equals to 25 minus mu. So, the mu or mean will be 25 plus 8.45. So we can say that for this particular data, the mean is 33.45. See this value of Z is not directly available from the table. This is actually mean of two values. Mean of two values. 8.4 and 8.5. Value of Z, 8.84 and value of Z, 0.85. This is the average of these two areas. Yes.